Hey, hey, hey. how's everybody wow. doing out there? We got some music jamming in our ears. I don't know how loud it was for you guys, but it was rocking and rolling here. But uh, we are glad to be back with you guys. Man, it's oh, been... Oh, yeah, it's been forever. Yeah, it seems like it was so long ago. Well, it was a whole year ago. It, yeah. it, it was all the way last year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So not 12 months of time frame, but it was last year. You so. know, it's now, it's now uh, 2021. That's right. Yeah, Good, on the uptrend, let's, I would say, let's, maybe. Let's hope. For, for, for me, it's been on the uptrend. Hopefully for you guys, it's been on. It's been. Well, one uptrend for sure is that you guys are sitting out there in your local drinking hole uh, playing a little Lucky for Bingo with us, and we are on Pilot TV with you guys, and that is for sure an uptick. Oh, yeah, that that is the best part of just being back on the broadcast. I was getting sick of uh, uh, testing the games out and stuff, and I, yeah. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to get back on the screen. And there we go. Look at that. So this is how we're playing this Lucky Four, guys. This is Ian's first time at this. We got that mega jackpot. If we can get that in five balls, we're down to two balls here. Let's see if we hit that. It's going to roll over into a different. Nope, we didn't get it. So we're on a major jackpot. Someone can win $1,185 if we can hit that right now. And no, we're on the mini jackpot now. We need to hit that in the next two balls to get $243 in somebody's hands. We're on that $7 must go now. So this will go out to somebody, and we'll find out what those lucky four numbers are. I see uh, Dooney Q, and uh, let's see, Minnesota girl next door, and Tom out there vying for it. They're all one ball away. So is Rusty. Oh, yeah. So this is the like a, you have to get four, four of the balls drawn. That's correct. They, they picked four corners. There it is. There's our lucky four, four, five, 67, and 73 for Minnesota Girl Next Door. Congratulations. I'll get that uh, location where Minnesota Girl Next Door was playing. But Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. We are now getting enrolled in Jackpot Hunter. We're going to play 12 games of Jackpot Hunter with you here during this uh, happy hour broadcast. Look at that mega jackpot here on Jackpot Hunter. It's $113,000, and you can hit that in 48 balls. We've definitely had broadcasts where we've seen uh, people win in 48 oh, balls. Oh, yeah. So. No, we definitely have, but those 52-ball uh, major and minor are so doable. Yeah, and look at that. That's $20,000 because you'd get both. Uh, if you won that. So that's over $20,000. Oh, yeah. Money, Somebody, money, money coming back into the pilot world. That's right. I think with 12 games coming up, there's a big chance that somebody's going to win a pile of cash tonight. So this is exciting. We're super glad to be with you guys. And, uh, yeah, those lucky four, again, numbers were four, five, 67, and 73. We got Nikki on the headset checking in with us, getting those lucky oh, numbers yeah. back to us. We are Nikki's Angels here coming to you in uh, February 1st. I can't believe we're already in yeah, February. Already in February. We're two weeks away from Valentine's Day. I know it. It's The year is already flying by. It's about to be March again, which seems wild. And like, this is a big holiday week this week. Oh, yeah. This week, because actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but the number two celebrated holiday, first is Christmas, the number two celebrated holiday in the United States is the Super Bowl. That I, I did actually know that. That was yeah. that's wild. It's yeah. a it's a wild fact that that's how big the Super Bowl is. Oh, it's an event. I mean, it's broadcast all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're actually gonna be broadcasting. We're gonna be doing our game day broadcast because with our new partnership with the Minnesota Wild, we're gonna be doing uh, our game day broadcast, talking to you guys about all the things about the Wild and what's going on with them oh, yeah. so far this season. Have you been doing your uh, hockey? Uh, like uh, research. Yes, I have. I got my uh, my tailback from this last year, and my one of my middle linebackers uh, was is a big time hockey player, and so I've been trying to mentor under him and uh, <laughs> and learn the, some some more hockey. The yeah. uh, coach has now become the coachee. That's right. That's right. 
So uh, we'll see. But uh, also been just uh, checking online and trying to keep up with not only the Wild, but what's going on in the NHL. And uh, the Wild's uh, having a decent season so far. Oh, Hopefully, yeah. uh, you know, just keep on winning. Uh, we'll talk about uh, what's been going on with the Wild here in this broadcast. But that'll be a true more game day broadcast on Sunday. We'll start that at 2 on Sunday. And then we'll stay online all the way basically till kickoff. We're going to stay with you guys till 5 o'clock on Super Bowl Sunday. So we want to spend the holiday with you and uh, in, in play some uh, bingo. Yeah. And then, uh, then we'll enjoy watching the Super Bowl. That's right. That's I'm right. excited. Isn't I think the halftime show is the weekend. Oh, is it this okay. uh, this year? I know we were talking earlier about uh, that. We were wondering who the who was singing the national anthem. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure who that is. We'll have to check in to uh, to that with you guys. We got uh, Mr. Yags saying hi. Uh, hey, kids. Mrs. Yags and myself are in Arizona for the week. See you next week. Hey, good to see you guys. The Yags crew, Arizona. That's uh, that's great. That's great. old stopping grounds. I had a, a barbecue restaurant out in uh, in Arizona. Yeah, that was yeah. a really yummy place. I liked it. coming in there after school and getting some free ribs. That's <laughs> that was, right. was J Rugs Southern Barbecue. That's right, out oh. there in Arizona. So, well, hope you guys are having a great time out there in the desert. And uh, hey, everybody out here playing with us. It's uh, it's just exciting to be here. There is the balls falling. We're back in business in Jackpot Hunter at a happy hour on a Monday night, which just makes me feel good, like everything is right in the world. So there's some of our top players out there. Already see out there, Slappy, Wooly. Uh, yeah, there's Mrs. T. Uh, look at all that. Just a bunch of our old uh, Towley out there. Yeah, a bunch of our players out there. Play. I saw LeBron, uh, I think, just on that uh, leaderboard just a second ago. Wow. Man, that's a super – you know who we had at lunch today? Who did we have at lunch? We had the Beebs. We had the Beebs. The Beebs was playing. <laughs> Beaver so. fever coming back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So we always like our celebrity bingo players, and we had the Beebs at lunch. Well, we got LeBron here tonight playing a little uh, little happy hour bingo. So oh, good yeah. to have you with Taking us. Taking a break from dribbling the basketball. That's, and, uh... that's right. Well, what's a better way to get your mind back right for going and winning an NBA championship Go play some pilot games. Yeah, you know, that's what I say is the best. He didn't get a real recovery after the finals. That's you know, right. it was only a six-week break, I think. That's right. Between the finals and the start of the season. Yep. So, you know, this is how he does. I say this is the best kind of relax, best kind of recovery. It's just maybe playing the, a little bit of bingo maybe and the uh, relaxing. Should, maybe the Timberwolves should look at it and do that. They, re they really should. I yep. have been uh, happy with the Timberwolves uh Rookie though, yeah. Anthony Edwards, he's yeah. been playing really well. Yeah, there hey, we're at 48 balls. It did not go out. We went to 49. That means it's gonna that mega is gonna roll over to next round. See if we can get this major and minor. Here it is, ball 52, not going out. So we're into that must go 65 dollars and 60 cents. Uh, not bad for a first game here of 12 um, to get things rolling. See how quickly we hit that. There's Ramrod out there and Rocket Cookie. See a bunch of you guys out there playing. It's good to see Suzy Q out there as well. Um, everybody out there playing. And there it is. Donnie Q over at Skinner's 2 in St. Paul. We got one bingo game up, one bingo game down. Donnie Q getting that win there. We had a win over in the Lucky Four from Minnesota Girl Next Door. Oh uh, and now we got Dooney Q with a win here in this jackpot hunter. That must go at sixty-five dollars and sixty cents. And we should get into that rolling screen for this game number two. And there it goes. We had, a, right. we had a little bit of technical difficulties at lunch today, but so far tonight here run smooth. We smooth. We, we we let Curtis and Amelia handle all the bad stuff, and then right. we get to reap all the benefits. Well, you know, Tony just comes in, <laughs> smooths all the waves down, and we're just sailing right on. So uh, thank you, Tony, for making sure the all those technical difficulties oh, are yeah. happening. So did you find out who's going to sing the national anthem? Oh, yeah. I, I did. It was uh, – it's uh, two people, actually. It's okay. going to be um, – I'm not one of them, am I? Because uh, I haven't prepared at all. Uh, Jack. <laughs> I know we really wanted to sing for the PC PyCon, yeah. for PyCon yeah. and they they didn't invite us. I know it. I and, know it. and then now we're hoping for the Super Bowl and yeah. now I'm finding out it's not us again. 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So untapped potential over <laughs> That's here. That's right. Um, Jasmine yeah. Sullivan and Eric my Church hair is wild, by the way. Um, look like they're going to be uh, performing the national anthem. Oh, okay. That should be fun. Yeah, should be really good. Cool. And I'm excited to uh, see what all the Super Bowl has to offer this year. Oh, I know it. I it's going to be a big entertainment event. I tell you what, and I think it has the makings of being just a great, uh, great game. I mean, um, mm -hmm. you know, the the first meeting between the Chiefs and uh, the Buccaneers this uh, earlier this year, uh, really the Chiefs got you know early on took advantage of that cover one man under coverage that the Buccaneers were playing. Oh you know, yeah, and just basically got you know <clears throat> got outside the numbers, youth speed. And just oh yeah, they could just outrun their cornerbacks. I mean, as you know, Tyree Kill, fastest player in the NFL right now. Oh, I tell you what. I mean, not according to Scotty Miller, uh, <laughs> Buccaneers wide receiver. Right, He's right. got something to say about that. He's got but, some wheels, yeah. But uh, I I do think Tyree Kill is like one of the fa is the fastest player in the NFL, and yeah. and it's hard to just stay in front of him. Yeah. Well, they had a lot of trouble. He had over 200 yards in receptions in that game. I think maybe 13 receptions, like 230. Yeah, uh, no, he went. Yeah. He had crazy stats against the Buccaneers last time. I think it's going to be a little bit different. A t uh, Tom Brady-led team in the playoffs is just a different team. Well, since that game, the Buccaneers have not lost. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that yeah. Before is, that, they seemed kind of shaky. Yeah, they were seven and five after that game, mm -hmm. um, and then. Yeah, I've just won out since it's a. Uh, yeah, they've just been winning. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting Super Bowl, I think. And uh, yeah, I, I I think you know they keep showing you know on TV how during that game Tyree Kill went over, grabbed the phone on the sidelines, uh -huh. and redid the Shannon Sharp, uh, yeah, video where he you know he's going, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're bringing help. They're, they're yeah. getting some help, you know, and all that uh -huh. kind of just. You know, tormenting the Buccaneers fans yeah. uh, with that they're sending help. Uh -huh. uh, and so I think that that's going to fire up the Buccaneers. I also have heard that Tom Brady's a little bit angry because uh, that Patrick Mahomes said uh, that he was going to be facing one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Tom Brady. And Tom Brady took offense to that. <laughs> took offense because he didn't say he was the greatest? Because he just is the greatest. He is the greatest <laughs> the, just ever. <laughs> so uh, there you go. You don't want Tom Brady fired up. I mean, if you're being honest, Tom Brady really just killed life. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, if you're 43 and you're still doing this. You're, I you're mean, 43, he's still playing a kid's game. Like, right. I mean, like, stuff we play as kids growing up. He has a right. supermodel wife that makes him more money than he does, which right. is an absurd amount of money anyway. Right. It's just right. him. Right. It's, yeah. ju it's just insane. No, uh, dude got it done, so... <laughs> Kudos to you, Tom. He doesn't need – someone – I saw a question and it was like, does LeBron or Tom Brady need a championship more? Oh, LeBron And I was like, sure. I was like, LeBron, obviously. Tom Brady could retire now, and he has three separate Hall of Fame careers. Oh, uh, yeah. I think if he wins this Super Bowl we're, – we're, by the way, we're not getting that uh, major, that minor, or that mega on this round. It is that must-go $79.60. That's not bad. Uh, so we'll see who gets that here in game number two. Oh, it's Hot Scott. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to let you have it, and I didn't know if you were going to take it. So. I d you know, it worked out well. We said it at the same time as synchronicity right That's there. That's right. Singularity of focus. There we go. American Legion Monticello, a great location out there. Uh, and Hot Scott getting it done in game number two, which means that rolling screen will – Get going for game number three of 12. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're jumping. Ten games left. Oh, we better start getting it. We have a ton of national days today. Yeah, we do. We need to get started on, you know, it's it's been a while since we've done national days, and the first day back, we got a whole slew of them. Well, one thing you always can know, you know, uh, you know, you can always be assured, right, that, you know, death, taxes, and it's getting in tax season, you know, and <laughs> that on Mondays, there's going to be a state national day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, here it is. Uh, why don't we start off with that? I know it's our bottom one on our list, but it's the state national day. Oh, yeah. So. It's uh, <laughs> the last one? Yeah. Okay. National Texas Day. There you go. Oh, yeah. No, we, lo we like Texas. Yes. It's what brought my middle brother. That's right. Good old, That's right. Good old Big Tex. That's right. Big Tex. Big Tech. He is. He's like six foot four. He's a. He's. A, he's a college wide receiver. He's a pretty big guy. But uh, yeah. He's. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. He was born in Texas. Yeah. So. 
Uh, all four, I may have told you guys this on the broadcast before, all four of my kids were all born in different states. That is a so. pretty neat accomplishment because, like, yeah. I should have been born in the same state as my younger sister. That's correct. Because we live, but because of wild circumstance that I was born right on Thanksgiving, yep. like, we were up visiting family in Michigan. That's right. We were living in Ohio at the time, so he, he was born in Michigan. Uh, then my daughter was born in Ohio. Uh, then we had Texas uh, for Ben, and then Gabe was born in Georgia. Yeah, so, it's all just wild yeah. that that was. And at one point, it was different states, and we were all born on the holidays. They were for the first two of you because you were born on Thanksgiving, and Sophie's born on Valentine's Day, which coming up in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. turning 21. Yeah. She's turning old. Yeah. She's an old lady. 21. There we go. Uh, so, anyway, hey, we got uh, she's, still like, she's still like 14 to me. <laughs> we got Destiny checking in saying hi. Uh, hey, it's Destiny, and this is it, – oh, is this the first night back? It sure is, Destiny, and we're uh, glad to have you with us. Uh, we're super excited about it, and obviously you're a big-time player, so it is great to have you checking in and uh, playing along with us. We've already got two games of Jackpot 100 down of 12. We played some lucky four as well at the beginning. Our lucky four numbers were 4, 5, 67, and 73, won by Minnesota Girl next door uh, out there. And then we've gotten wins by uh, Dooney Q and Hot Scott. So uh, we're rolling already in this Monday happy hour. Jack oh, Hunter. yeah. So that is so. Yeah, Texas Day recognizes the Lone Star State along with their fierce record of independent people and history. You know what? Curtis's brother, he told us on the on the lunch broadcast, is moving to Texas. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I recommended that when he gets there, that his brother tells people, <laughs> I wasn't born here, but I got here as fast as I could. Because Texans love that. Do they? Oh, they do. I, I, I don't because I was so young when yeah. we were – I don't really remember Texas all oh, that yeah. much. So I don't know the personality types, but I think that that would be hilarious. Is, oh. is it actually like the whole entire, like, don't mix with Tex <laughs> like, right. type personalities? Oh, like, yeah. No, they, they, they own – they own that. I yes. love that. That is, yeah. that is great. No, and another recommendation is wear Wrangler jeans, a white – uh, like collared shirt, button down uh -huh. shirt with so much starch that it could stand on its own, right? And some cowboy boots, and they will not think you're from another state. They, you're Texan. Just dress like Brett Favre. Yeah, dress like Brett Favre, and you look like a Texan. <laughs> We're at 40 balls drawn in this third game. Uh, we hoping to get this out in 48 and get that mega. That is huge money out there, and it is doable. But that major and that minor, minor are doable as well, and that's a bunch of money as well. Oh, I see some uh, big names out there. Oh, yeah, FCON. I see some yeah, FCON. I saw Sarah Honey. Yeah. Wooly. Bah Humbug. Forget you, D. Yeah. And, of course, LeBron James. We're so happy to have – uh, one of the greatest basketball players of all time here playing a little bit of oh, yeah. uh, bingo with us. So I think I think it would be comical to see an iPad in his hand because it'd probably look like a normal it'd like be, it'd be a normal like my look like a phone. Like if you had this, this would be what it'd look like for him. Yeah, like he would just be holding it like a normal phone. <laughs> like that's what I picture. Yeah, yeah, no, large, large hands. Uh, There's Rakisha. Hey, good to see you out there. Yeah, and look at in 64 balls, Stone gets that must-go prize of $86.80 over at Carboni's Pizza CR Billiards. Well, we don't have all the standings uh, tonight. We'll start with, I think, standings tomorrow in those broadcasts tomorrow. Um, so we don't have that filling up the time. Uh, I would be really worried if we had the standings. Oh, if to we go had through. standings, we'd be so behind. Yeah, so behind. But uh, we do have a lot of national days, so I'm going to hit another one here, and that is National Baked Alaska Day. So an elaborate dessert that's also known as I know I'm going to mess this up, but it's omelet Norvegian. I, I'm just what I'm going with. 
Uh, it's baked Alaska is made with hard ice cream on a base of sponge cake and covered in a shell of toasted meringue. Now that sounds good. Now, yeah, I didn't like the sound of what you said at first, but once you described it, it sounded great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you were thinking a Norwegian omelet. That's what, yeah, what I was thinking. Yes, that's what I was thinking as well. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how good Norwegians are at making omelets. They may be fantastic. I just pictured a seafood omelet. That's yeah. kind of what I pictured. <laughs> well, you do think kind of with a Norwegian, you just think of sea because the Norwegian cruise lines yeah 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 but uh but yeah no looks like a really good dessert uh known as baked alaska and this is baked alaska's day so there you go yeah yummy yeah it, yeah we'll, we'll go over another yeah. one it's also national freedom day um the day honors the signing by abraham lincoln uh of a joint house and senate uh, resolution that later became the 13th Amendment of the United States uh, Constitution. President Lincoln signed the amendment outlawing slavery on February 1st, 1865. Awesome day. That's an awesome day. Yeah, no, that's super, super cool stuff. That kind of kind of hits uh, this day in history as well, uh, but it is National Freedom Day, but that's, uh, that's when President Lincoln signed the Basically, what later became the 13th Amendment. So that's cool, cool stuff. Oh, yeah. One of the biggest amendments, I would say, of, oh. uh, of all the amendments. Right, right. So, uh, yeah, a lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. Uh, but that, yeah, it's hard to top that. We're getting enrolled in game number four now. Can't believe it's flying by. Oh, literally yeah. Literally flying by. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't pushed play, uh, then make sure you do. You got 10 seconds left to get in this game it's really good just being able to see all the players again oh i know it yeah i know you know it. i i kind of miss being on the player connect app because it felt like we talked so much on oh, it I like know i it. mean like I, I know they could still be on the player connect app and watch the broadcast yeah. and stuff like that yeah i but, think nikki will let us know if they say anything in there so. oh yeah but but you know they were actually playing on that and yeah. so we were getting so much communication and oh. i love talking about all these guys it's i know so it. fun boat racer 19 used to talk a lot I oh yeah, I, yeah and now we got to go back to to regular bar bingo. That's right. Which, which I, is great. Which I'm is awesome. great. That's Which awesome. is great. The yeah. best best ever. I do just miss talking to you guys. And we got great things coming up. We got, uh, you know, releasing this month. We're going to have uh, the Go Wild uh, game, which is our game uh -huh. in partnership with the Minnesota Wild. And that's going to be hitting your iPads uh, this month sometime. And then in March, look for us in an increased broadcasting schedule. So oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm super, it I'm super excited for this uh, new beefed up uh, broadcast schedule we're going to yeah. have. Bringing you more amazing content. Oh, so. yeah. You know, because we bring the top of the best content of all time i mean there's no question about that i don't think there's anybody <laughs> arguing uh <laughs> the kind of quality that we bring into your local uh bar every day we got nikki checking in uh saying that anita alibi uh did check in on the player at connect app and said hello in all caps nice we like the enthusiastic hello hello uh, from Anita Alibi. Anita Alibi was my pick for the for the PC for the PCS finals. Yeah, also. yeah, I think she was she was one of the twelve finalists, right? Let me pull up the twelve finalists here in the PCS. We had so much fun this year in uh, in PCS. Let me see. Oh, that was a great time. I mean, we played so many games on the Player Connect app, and then we had a sweet finals where we gave yeah. out sweet prizes. We gave out Vikings gear. That was just sweet. There was a signed Dalvin Cook photo oh, and man. football. Yeah, there was. Yeah, Nita Alibi finished tenth uh, in in. So it was one of our one of our uh, twelve finalists. Yeah, oh, Nita yeah. Alibi, one top player out there saying hello, emphatic hello, which it makes it even better. So um, that is awesome. There it is. In 61 Vols, Cookie over at Municipal Liquor Store in Akeley uh, getting the win. So that means that major, that minor, and that mega continue to grow. But Cookie's taking home $88.80. Congratulations, Cookie. Um, and you can buy a few cookies with that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I wonder if Cookie's the cookie monster. That, that could be the case. Yeah, it could be. And so uh, probably going to enjoy a few cookies now while we're doing the enrolling. The fun little fact, just I don't know why this popped into my head, but like I always thought as a kid that SpongeBob SquarePants' parents were cookies. 
and not just old withered sponges because they had the circle heads oh. of like old sponges. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like yeah, old yeah. circle sponges. Right, right, right. Where he's square. square I just thought right. he was adopted or something. <laughs> but but, but they were cookies. But they were I thought and they were just cookies. And just speaking of cookies, I I was bamboozled for many years. <laughs> also talking about another just I watched a video the other day and it was just a bunch of things that like you thought were said in movies that oh, uh, like weren't. And yeah. it was like the Star Wars. Have you ever do you know that like Luke, I am your father is yeah. never actually said oh. in Star Wars. So it, what's he say? Well, he says something about that he's his father. He says I am your father. Yeah. He doesn't do the Luke, Luke I am uh, your father. Uh, like uh. that's the that's the what everyone quotes when they say they right. always say but Luke. There was no Luke. There was yeah. never a Luke at the start of it. It was okay. it was uh some other intro to it. They had it in the video that I watched, but it was super funny just He could have been like even though he looked like he was talking to Luke, he could have been saying it to like a stormtrooper over in the side. Yeah. And we all just misinterpreted it. We just thing. completely misinterpreted it. Luke is just some random Jedi and <laughs> some storm conspiracy trooper, theory. Some stormtrooper had a really emotional experience. <laughs> I uh I yeah, you, you usually save the conspiracy theories for the for the Amelia <laughs> and Curtis broadcast. Uh we like to get the tinfoil hats at out. At one point we talked about uh uh a Bigfoot, though. Yes. We went through a big tangent about well, Bigfoot. Well, that that was just based purely on fact that <laughs> if you leave peanut butter outside on your back porch <laughs> and it gets eaten, you've got a big, Bigfoot problem. I mean, that's just a that's just a known fact. Oh, that, that's an easily known fact. Yeah, because that's Bigfoots love to eat peanut butter. And they're the only animal that eats it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what humans, other? humans, and Bigfoots. That's it. That's it. Um, <laughs> no other animal would want a delicious did, did peanut butter treat. Great, great uh, debates that have been happening on the internet lately. Oh wow! Of of Godzilla versus King Kong because oh, there's, there's a movie. Right? There's a movie coming out, and they're trying. Here we to go. Say, balls are falling. Yeah, balls falling. <laughs> Plan. Uh, they're trying to figure out who would you wit- have win. Yeah. And my initial thought is is. King Kong obviously is is going to lose to Godzilla because he's, he's, Godzilla's huge. Humongous. Godzilla in in one of the movies I think took a nuke oh, or something. Yeah. And like survived it. Right. So I'm like how is how is it but the more I just think about it I just want the monkey to win. <laughs> <laughs> now no Godzilla defeated Mothra. Right. I, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. That is, I did watch Godzilla vs. Mothra. Right. I I cannot tell you the outcome of that movie whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that to be determined. Maybe we can do some fact checking. Uh, we'll we'll find out. Hey, uh, another uh, national day today is National Get Up Day, and uh, that is offers an opportunity to share. Inspiring stories of perseverance. The day reminds us to pick ourselves up whenever we have fallen and give it, whatever that may be, give it another go. So there you go, National Get Up Day. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm inspired already. I'm inspired that you guys are giving it another go here on Jackpot Hunter here. Uh, And I see a bunch of you that have uh, gotten up and done it again a bunch of times and won a bunch of times because we've got Buddha the Dano, Cookie, Foster, Kimmer, LeBron, J23, Rocket, and Suzy Q all out there on the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm excited to see what uh, what new players we're going to add to our already existing uh, consistent players that are always in our top leaderboards. Yeah. What are going to be those new leaderboards people that hop in and they just stay consistently there? Absolutely. Like they might have came in the later half of – our rankings last year really gotten into it yep and now they're now it's like now they're one of the top players we just didn't know there look at that look at maybe suzy q over at eagles of Montana, only 10 balls away from uh getting that major or minor yeah got it in 62 balls and took home 89 dollars and 60 cents which means that we're getting enrolled in game number five uh we've got uh Keeves, Troy, other, otherwise known as Keeves out there, checking in on Facebook, saying hello. Hey, Keeves, good to check in with you. Do you see how rusty we are? 
What's I up? just realized how rusty we are. Oh. We haven't thrown a single person that's checked in any sort of oh! kind of lock. Oh, can't believe it. Okay, let's go back all the way to the beginning. So we had the Yags, even though I know they're out in Arizona. They're, I mean, you got yeah. a little bit of luck to have some fun over in that's the right. warm state of Arizona. There you go. Send that out to the there Yags. There you go. There you go, right. Yags. Now pile me up, and we got uh, Destiny out there. All right, boom. Boom. Here we go, Destiny. Oof. And they we're go. given extra luck for being late. That's right. And Anita Alibi, here's another one. She had an emphatic hello. Boom. Oh, Boom. yeah. Boom. One of our top go. players in the PCS. There you go, Anita Alibi. And then we got Keeves. We got to get that done. So okay. Boom. Keeves, lots of luck. Boom. The patented long snap throw right out there to you, Keeves. See, there I was wondering go. why we were talking about these people, and then they weren't winning. I know it. I know it because that usually is an automatic. It's an automatic thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, we were not. We apologize. We're, we apologize. We've, we've been a little rusty. Been on our basically our winter hibernation. So. Yeah, that's that's what I really kind of took it as. I, I just curled up in a blanket and kind of just disappeared for a month. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just was uh, you know filling my time with other things. I, 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 this is much more fun than the other things, though. <laughs> I, I had uh, I was I was uh, speaking. Uh, to a, to a group of people, uh, this was this last weekend. But anyways, and uh, I said something, and and uh, and a guy said to me, "You're like a bear." <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're so, like you're like where did that correlate in yeah. my statement that I said? <laughs> right. He's and, he's probably sitting there your entire speech just thinking like. Man, this guy looks like a bear. <laughs> and, and you're thinking you're making a point to him. Right. He's and listening he, to you. He, he, just, he was concerned that I look like a bear. Like <laughs> He's like, you're big. You're a bear. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm waking up from my hibern winter hibernation and uh, getting back at it. Well, uh, speaking of getting that back at it, we're about to roll here in game number five, right? Five of 12. We did have our lucky four game, which is exciting. How we're going to start kicking off these uh, happy hours. And uh, we got tomorrow, of course, guys. Don't forget, it's Tuesday, so it is Bingo Palooza. We got oh, uh, yeah. Vikings Bingo at lunch. We got, uh, we got Jackpot Hunter and Lucky Four at happy hour and then we got megasota game night we'll go right, we'll run over that schedule for megasota game night for tomorrow night um a little bit later in the show here but um yeah it's going to be a great day tomorrow look at all that money on the board somebody's going to win some big money here real real soon i think so. i saw mrs t out there me and some of the yags crews out there that's right i think woolly is out there as well so uh if it's there's there, there's woolly and then there's the other Wooly. Yeah, there's two different Woolies. One runs with an IE, one runs with a Y. I don't yeah. necessarily remember which one's the real one. I think IE. Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. Well, we can get confident. Hey, there's Bad Flop Bob, one of our big-time players out there as well. Uh, good to see you out there. Hey, Michelob's out there. Well, I, we saw Rikisha, so should have known Michelob was out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there we go. A bunch of our big-time players are back and better than ever. And, uh, oh, another national day here. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just going for it because we yeah. got lots to get to. We, we got so much information. All right. National Serpent Day. Oh. Yeah. Gives snakes and serpents alike their slithering dew. Have, uh, do you have any wild uh, snake stories? I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> so, Texas, we talked about. So, this is a correlate back mm -hmm. to Texas. So, we were doing a. Uh, a land development just outside of Houston, um, and we had it was the highest property in the county. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, so we had go to this this uh, this parcel of land, and they were like five acre uh, lots. So, and it had the highest point on the whole property, and so they had this kind of hill on top of the, you're on a hill, and so it was great just to look out and see the views and all that from. Oh, yeah. We later on figured out that that was a rattlesnake den that we were standing on top of. Hey, Susie Q and the Eagles, a wonton. That's a double win for Susie Q, right? In, yeah. In a row? Is that in a row? Two in a row. Yeah. Look Susie at Q. that, Susie Q. Another $85.80 in her pocket. Good job, Susie Q. That's that's good money. Winning two muscos. I mean, that's, that's better than getting a stick in the eye. Yeah, that's, that's making money. <laughs> A little bit. Money, money, money. 
Um, and now we got Bachelor Park. Now we're at the halfway. This is is this hump game? This so it's game number six, right? We're enrolling for game number six out of twelve. So that sounds like it's hump game on a Monday. It's a hump game on a Monday. We're fired up. Uh, so oh yeah, <laughs> let's get going on that. Well, uh, got something coming in here. I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Tony is coming in. Uh, oh, we on, got we got Tony on the headset in the back room, taking care of business right now. Uh, so uh, we're it's good to have Tony. Yeah, with us. you know, a little swap out. You know, they they're kind of a tag team sometimes. Right, just like, just like WWE, just they just tap off and come on now, in. Now Tony's now our producer and no longer Nikki and. I feel a little, little off balance, you know, <laughs> just because we're Nikki's angels. But well, with the flowing locks, you know, if we're thinking WWE uh, mm -hmm. like wrestlers, I actually am. This is that's the kind of goal of the hair I've been going, okay. going after. You should I Tony? just one day I can oh, catch up to Tony. Competition for you, Tony. Uh, so you know, but I was thinking. So so I'm not. I'm now. I'm trying to think. Maybe our folks out there might want to comment on this. Uh -huh. What WWE wrestler is is Tony? You know, oh. with the flowing locks. Maybe Ultimate Warrior? Is he Ultimate Warrior? I mean, you know, I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's I don't see know. If I we think he got up, he got up done in some makeup. He could he could pull off an Undertaker. Oh, an Undertaker. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We'll see. We'll see if Tony may comment on that. But uh, <laughs> uh well, well a lot of there's actually quite a few of the wrestlers have longer hair. So Yes. Yeah, so we'll see on that. But um but, yeah, so it was National Serpent Day. I think that was the last thing we had. So over 3,000 species of snakes uh, populate uh, the earth. So, yeah, when oh. you're out there doing property development and stuff like that, which I did for years, uh, a lot of snakes. Oh, of yeah. No, Especially I, in the I, south. You would come back, you'd come home, and you'd be like, I saw a snake today, and that would be normal <laughs> things. Yeah. Oh, he says macho man. He's, he's the macho man. I got to look up. Snap it to a Slim Jim. All right. Yeah. You look, we're looking it up. Getting some uh, visual verification. Uh, Tony's choosing. Oh, Macho Slim Man. Ran it's, oh, Randy Savage. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Yep. Yep. That's Tony right there. <laughs> A little bit of Randy Savage. I think when I've seen Tony flex, it looks almost the same as when Randy Savage does. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I've actually seen him in this exact leopard uh, print uh, <laughs> tank top. <laughs> Only, only at like you know black tie events. Oh yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> we got our juice out there. Forget you, D. Uh, good to see you guys out there already on the leaderboard. Super quick. Uh, again, we're trying to give out this one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars in forty-eight balls. But if you can't do that well, in fifty-two balls, we could give well. It's now up to what twenty over twenty one thousand dollars because that major's at nineteen thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars and that minor is at two thousand and fifty one dollars so that's pretty great and that that musco is at ninety two dollars it's almost triple digits uh, on the musco so exciting exciting round here so did we finally get through we got all through yeah um, we got through all of the national days yeah yeah that's awesome, yeah, awesome we got awesome. um some celebrity birthdays yeah some big names oh yeah uh, but really not a ones. lot not a lot of them but oh. they're all really big names yes uh on uh, february 1st 1918 frederick Douglass, american author and activist um, awesome man was born yeah, yeah. 1818 um he uh yeah uh in in Curtis was saying at the lunch hour broadcast, they taught himself to read. Uh, really? Yes. Yeah, so that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy stuff. Not but surprising during the times, though, yeah, yeah. that he had to teach himself. Right. Like, that's that's crazy, though. I couldn't imagine ever, like, me having to learn how to read. Like, like yeah. I just kind of happened as a kid. Like, people just taught me. Yeah. But, like, he had to actually put in that work. Look, at there's Towley. Over at Carboni's Pizza, CR Billiards, one of our big players. Yes, and one of our biggest locations. Uh, uh, one last year on our Mega Bar Bingo location standings, they were our number one location over there in Coon Rapids. So, yeah, I know uh, I had actually just uh, was listening to a podcast, and they were talking about uh, one of the people on the podcast actually had 
uh, Frederick Douglass's handwritten notes, like from like before he went up and spoke, because he'd always you know that's do a lot of speaking. Crazy. Yeah, some of his handwritten notes. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, stuff. that's but, really cool. Yeah, yeah. One of the great Americans, uh, Frederick Douglass, uh, born on this day in 1818. And I think that's a they think he's born on like this day or around yeah. this day because uh, there wasn't great uh, tracking of uh, birthday for him. So. But uh, it's 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 on this day or around this day for Frederick Douglass. So there you go. Oh yeah. Hey, we got a minute oh, forty-five look at, to get look left at that. Forward. I didn't even realize that the miner had uh, bumped up to fifty-four balls. Oh, look at that. So now you, you could win that miner without winning the major. I mean, when it gets up to fifty-four balls. Uh, oh yeah. 54, I've seen it go past 54 balls, sure. but it doesn't normally get past 54 balls. If it gets to 56, you're like, when is it going to come out? Like, yeah. when is it leaving? Like, yeah. No, that usually comes out pretty It's got quick. one foot out the door if it's at 26. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we 56. Hit a, we see it'll hit a lot at 52. We've seen it hit as low as the 48 that you're seeing on the on the Mega. But, uh, but 54, it seems like it's usually just a matter of time. So, uh, Towley getting that win at $92.40 um, on that last game. That was game number seven. So, this is game number eight of 12 games here on this happy hour. Uh, like I'll say it again, uh, this is a Bingo Palooza Tuesday. Tomorrow oh, yeah. we got coming up. We got Vikings Bingo at lunch. We got our Lucky Four and Jackpot Hunter at Happy Hour, and then we got Mega Soda Game Night uh, after that. I'm great. I'm I'm uh, excited about getting back to Trivia Night. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because I I just haven't. You're you're I older. Haven't lost you're it. wiser. That's right. I haven't lost this year in trivia to Nikki or Tony yet. So uh, I'm sure I'll lose to one of them. Well, have you lost to other people playing like online trivia, trying to improve your skills? <laughs> Not actually. I just I'm just feeling like I just gotten older and wiser, and that maybe I might have some some better luck this time. I was probably like, not. I like picturing you just like training, just on your computer in the basement, He's just like. Strong. <laughs> I'm just over there triving it up. And yeah. you just come in and just knock every answer out. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. No, I know. There it is. Balls are falling on this game number eight. So we are rolling. It felt good for you to do the hump day. I mean, that was. It did. It yeah. was It was nice to be back Yeah. with, yeah. with a good hump game. That's right. That's right. So uh, we are. Look at there's double trouble. Kimmer. Uh, I see uh, Corpa. Uh, bad flop, Bob Wooly. Uh, that's an IE Wooly. I think that is the original uh, Wooly out there. We got Ba Humbug, Michelob, Brizo, a bunch of our top players. Sarah Honey out there, dugout, thirsty. Tom, our juice. It's good to be with all you guys out there. Well, another uh, celebrity birthday is actor, great actor Clark Gable was born on this day in 1901. Um, maybe his most famous role, although he was he played a lot of big roles, uh, oh, yeah. was probably Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind. So uh, oh yeah, no, yeah. I have a bunch of his movies pulled up right okay. here. Yeah. With uh, it happened one night, The Misfits, uh, uh, yeah. There's there's a whole bunch of them, and I don't <laughs> the, the Red Dust. There's there's a whole bunch, and there was a couple that I didn't want to attempt to pronounce. Ah, so there you go, there you go. Lots so. of really good pieces of work by uh, Clark Gable. Y your mom picked out a movie on, uh, on on Saturday night, and she's like, after she'd been watching, I wasn't really watching it. She was yeah. watching it, and then she, after a while. By the way, we are into that must go of ninety one dollars and twenty cents here on game number eight. Uh, after about like 20 minutes into the show, she's like, wait, I don't think this is a, an American movie. <laughs> A-L-W over at American Legion, Rice in Rice, uh, getting the win on that Moscow in 58 balls. So that was uh, $91.20 in game number eight. It means we're moving on to game number nine. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing how fast this is flying. So yeah, it was all dubbed in, uh -huh. you know, and... 
if you look at their lips, you, you can, can see. You can easily tell that they're not speaking English. That's right. Or but, the, at least the voice isn't the voice that they're saying. Right. Now, I think part of the 20-minute time frame that it took to figure that out <laughs> yeah. is that your mom is always on TikTok at the same time she's doing anything else. <laughs> yes. So so she, uh, she, was, she, was, she, she was like, wait. They're not speaking English. <laughs> well, at one funny. point she said before that, she said, that guy's voice is weird, you know? Like, uh-huh. And it was just whoever that voice actor was, you know, yeah. of course. But then, uh, anyways, it was, just all, it was all funny. So, anyways, uh, that's what happens when you're TikToking and watching a movie is you don't realize that, oh, I'm watching a foreign flick. But that's that's funny. Yeah. I, it would have been even more funny if it wasn't dubbed over at all. And she just <laughs> it was just it was just yeah, it was, down, like, you know, it was just it was subtitled. Subtitled in all and, yeah, and yeah. she was like I don't think this is cuz I could totally see her just like putting on a movie, being on TikTok, being so engrossed into her phone yeah. that she would look up and be like Wait, that's the <laughs> It's the same reason she asks a million questions at the end, at the, in the middle of every movie. Oh yeah, no, she's famous for you know you're in the middle of a movie and wait, what? I can't believe that just happened. So and you're yeah. like that that was not supposed to be a surprise for no. you, <laughs> right? Oh yeah. yeah, well, so there we go. We are one minute away. Make sure you get enrolled. Make sure you push play because uh, there's a lot of money on the line here. That major is at nineteen thousand. Seven hundred and fifty-six dollars, and you can do that in fifty-two balls. That minor jackpot's at fifty-four balls, as you pointed out last oh, round. Oh yeah, and uh, it's two thousand two hundred and sixty-five dollars. But if you can, what time does that? Do what, when does that major go up? The major goes up every forty-five hundred, right? So okay. it would have went up at eighteen, and then it would go up at right. Am I right in that? So then it would go up again at twenty-five, twenty-two. Five. Twenty-two five. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. Of course, we have the authority on oh, yeah. to- us with Tony. Tony probably can shoot us over right away what when the major jumps up uh, to fifty-four balls. That's correct. Yes. And I'm just waiting for that that forty-eight ball uh mega jackpot to keep on clicking up. Yeah, and I don't know if it goes to forty-nine on the next click or if it goes all the way up to fifty. Because that that's a big deal. Yeah, that's 49 a big deal. Is, is still a little hard. Yeah. But 50, that's oh. that's been hit many times. Oh, been hit many, many, many times. So here we go. Uh, everybody's out there. The balls are falling. You're out there playing, and we are rolling. Um, oh, Tony says he's looking. He's looking ASAP. Oh, sweet. There we go. So, um, yeah, we got uh, Lucky777, Wendy, Sherry, Michelob, Thirsty, Evcon, Kimmy, bunch of folks out there uh, on the leaderboard. We're just 22 balls into this game number nine, right? Yeah. It's game number nine, and we are rolling. Mm-hmm. Well, we only have um, one more celebrity birthday. Oh, yeah. Um, on today in 1938, Sherman Hemsley – Actor uh, George on the TV series The Jeffersons. Moving on up, moving on up to the east side, to a penthouse apartment in the sky. Owned the laundromat, uh, George, a very successful businessman. Ah. Yeah, yep. Uh, there you go. Born in, on this day in yeah. 1938. That's it. Just the three celebrity birthdays. That's it. They're big time uh, folks, but uh, um, they, yeah, just three of them. Okay, let's see what he's got. Major at 22,500. I was right on that. It goes to 53 balls. The minor goes to 56 at 3,000. So we got a little bit more play uh, on those two to go. And then it'll go to 120K. Uh, when we go to 49 balls. Uh, so the mega will go to $120,000, and then it'll go to 49 balls. All right. Well, there we go. sweet. So we're getting close on all that. We are not going to get that, uh, win one of those prizes on this round. Uh, we're going to be in that must go of $80.60. Hey, look at that. Michelob over at Neeson's Gaylord in Gaylord. 
Good to see Michelob. Yeah, she is one of our top players last year in uh, in our Mega Bar Bingo standings. Uh, oh, yeah. And yeah. significant other, Rikisha, also a top player. That's correct. That is correct. So just got the game, just got the win on game number nine, which means we're rolling in game number 10 of 12. So we got 10, 11, 12, three games left. Make sure you get enrolled. Make sure you push play because – there's a lot of money on the line tonight here during this happy hour. Oh, yes, there is. I'll tell you what, if this rolls over to tomorrow on Mega, uh, on you know, Bingo Palooza Tuesday. Oh, that's wild. My, I'm going to have to like do stuff to keep my blood pressure down because I'm going to be so excited. My heart's going to be pumping peanut butter for our players. Pumping peanut butter. There we go. We are rolling. I'm looking to get that out still tonight. It is a Monday. We want to start off the new broadcast, Season 9. We're talking about this is, you know, Season 9 here, right? So uh, just looking for uh, to get a jackpot. Best out. season yet. Best season yet. We've come in, and we're already tearing it up. Ah, Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. ready for this season. I'm ready to see the leaderboards. I'm ready to see the competition. That's Who's right. going to be that top player? It's right? all fresh. It's all new. You guys all are on even ground right now to Boom. be able to get into that top spot in our standings. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's very fun to be here. I've never been – for a start of a season. That's right, because like, you came in. Yeah. I came in already, season already going. Right, And right, so right. I'm I'm really excited to see just how this all progresses and stuff uh, with the start of a new season. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, excited, super excited about it. Yeah, don't say it can't be done, because it can be done. Uh, you can do it. You're in it. You're on the first night of it, and we are rolling. So, uh, yeah, game number 10 of 12. This could be this could be one of our players' lucky time right here, and they could come out and win one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars right here in game number ten. Yeah, that I could mean, happen. That that could happen. That's that's the beauty of playing this uh, this game with us is there's money on the line yes. every time. And even when you don't win, this is the beauty of it too is that. You know that it's great entertainment. We have a ton of fun with you guys. You guys have fun. We never win money in this stuff, and we have a ton of fun uh, with them. And charities uh, get help, right? Charities oh, yeah. get money. We at our year end. So in 2020, which you know, less people out there in the bars, everything. We still gave out 25 million dollars to charities. Wow, that's that's insane, and that's all thanks to you guys out there. Like that money would have never been able to be given out if it wasn't for you guys, and it's going to such good places, improving the just your local your local towns. Absolutely, that's for sure. So uh, exciting, exciting stuff. Well, uh, you know, yeah. we, well, go ahead. since we're already talking about charities, we should do a charity. We should just talk about our charity spotlight. Yeah, let's get that knocked out. Yeah. yeah well, awesome. our uh, our charity spotlight of the um, of the week is a uh, St. Paul Festival and, and Heritage Foundation. The St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation is a nonprofit uh, membership organization that uh, produces Minnesota's iciest and spiciest festivals. Uh, St. Paul Winter and uh, Winter uh, Carnival and Cinco de Mayo Westside St. Paul um, to foster a sense of community, uh, community pride, belonging, and uh, connectedness uh, by celebrating St. Paul's unique history and emer uh, emerging heritage through fun and educational experiences. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. That's I'm hoping super that the cool. that the festivals get to have their festivals this year. Oh yeah. Well, it, it does seem like we are heading towards a a post COVID era. Yeah. It's it's coming close. It's yeah. around the corner. Absolutely. Look at this. Hey hey hey. Over there at the Knights Lounge. Forget you do. Uh, forget you, D, Terry, Doug, Hot Scott, TL2 out there, Gumpy, and a bunch of others. Uh, great to have you guys with us. We're at 52 balls. Let's see. Can we get this major? Nope. Let's see if we can get the minor here at 54. No, we are going into that must-go of $92. Hey, that's a pretty good must-go right that there. That is a nice You don't see a lot of must-goes that are, that are that high. Yeah, that is a good one for sure. Um, yeah, well, it's been good to be back, and especially because we've had such good players 
um, coming back and the amount of players being back, it's great. Hey, Hoscott getting the second win, but splitting it with Kimmy. Our first split of the new season. That's right. That is awesome. Uh, Hoscott over at American Legion, uh, and it was Monticello, yep, one of our top locations. Well, and first split for us. I don't know what happened with that. Uh, I don't know if they had a split today earlier. I can't remember. Niswa Legion, is that what that was? Niswa Legion, yeah. Uh, I hope we're pronouncing that correctly. Uh, kind of known for mispronouncing names. We, we are, and we kind of live by it. We have a book that we really should reference more yeah. that uh, gives <laughs> pronunciations of locations. Right. We just never know. There's always just a couple that come up that we just aren't expecting. And, that's that's true. That's true. And then we just don't know. We don't know. Well, so you don't forget to do this before we get off the charity uh, spotlight. Yeah. Is that there's two locations that benefit that charity. Um, that, that When you play there, it benefits that charity. And that is Bennett's. Chop House and or Chop and Rail House in St. Paul and Joe and Stands in St. Paul as well. That's the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation. Super cool. I always like just that they say icy and spicy. Oh yeah, no, I I always liked it. As soon as I as soon as I read it, I was like I was like, oh, I've I've done this charity before. I right. have been here at Pilot long enough, been doing broadcast long enough that I'm now repeating charities. That's pretty cool. That is cool. It's a cool, cool thing. So, well, uh, we got through our national days. We got through our charity spotlight. We got through our celebrity birthdays. We do have a couple other uh, things that we got to make sure we go through as we're getting enrolled in game number 11 of 12. Wow. So these are our last two games. One of them is this day in history. On this day in 1884, the first portion of the Oxford English Dictionary is published. An authority on the meaning, pronunciation, and history of over a half a million English words, past and present. Great read. Yeah. I <laughs> I personally just sit down with a dictionary and just read. That's that's the way to do it. Hey, I tell you what. Well, especially if you're trying to fall asleep. <laughs> it's a yes. great. Yes, and you know, to have an extensive vocabulary like we do, <laughs> you gotta just you just gotta read the dictionary. Well, you don't get you don't seem this learned just by uh, just <laughs> hanging out in broadcast studios. I can tell you that, my friend. Um, <laughs> well, uh, we're having a great time with you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a ball out there. It's so good to be back with you. And uh, I, I know you guys are enjoying being back in uh, your favorite spot out there, holding an iPad in your hand and playing some jackpot hunter with us on a happy hour. Um, yeah. Because we sure are happy about well, it. Well, we basically got two days in history yes because also they signed the 13th amendment that's correct huge thing yep, yep. but that was also that's also a holiday so right. you know we're right. the, sweet woohoo <laughs> the dictionary doesn't quite get a holiday and no so it's this day in history that's right that's right so when we when we pair it up with an actual like one of those that gets a whole day to itself you usually have a little bit of a lighter this day in history oh yeah 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 so Pretty, pretty cool stuff. We also have uh, our first, I think it's our first uh, rendition of Minnesota Trivia slash story slash news of the weird. Oh, I think we will thrive with this kind of new topic. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we are 23 balls into this uh, game number 11 of 12. Uh, so that means we only have one. If you have not enrolled, uh, make sure you get enrolled because... Uh, the next game is the last one of the night. We got Oopsie uh, out there. <laughs> I wonder if that's uh, Sarah Honey. She, she definitely likes to play. It's over at the VFW office. So, <laughs> does um, like to change her name up all the She bunch. does. She does. So uh, I know she won She won a big jackpot last year under the name Wapner. Oh, oh yeah. Man. I do remember that. Yep. We had the big long list of uh, jackpot winners because we yep. had we gave out so many jackpots oh, last season. It was like 50, 60 jackpots in season eight. And uh, we're, we're hoping to put one on the list tonight. So let's go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, we got a few people that could possibly get it done. Oh, still. it's doable right now. It is. So let's see if we can get this major out here with – Two, one ball left on that. Can it be done? See the minor. That would not be bad to win a minor. Okay. Yeah, that minor's two thousand, almost five hundred dollars. We're going over on that minor, going to that must go of eighty-six dollars. Bunch of people ready to get it, just in line. We got yeah. so many people, three balls away right now. Um, 
Yeah, what's the weird news? Okay. Well, well, we should probably wait. Well, well let's wait till after. Although we do have sports. We have sports stuff to still talk about, too. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, there it is. Lucky777 seven, 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 Towley. And Slappy, I think it was. And Slappy. Uh, Towley and Slappy are over at Carboni's Pizza CR Billiards. And uh, so both you guys, you know, if you're – your friends, you know, can give yourselves an actual high five. But yeah. if you, you aren't and you, you see just, across the bar, just, just air a little five. air high five. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Lucky 777's seven, seven, over at. Still oh. in Coon Rapids. It's at uh, the Classic Bowl, but in Coon Rapids. So ah. that was the that was a Coon Rapids round uh, for sure. Oh, yeah, a win for Coon Rapids. Yeah, it's a win for Coon Rapids out there. And this means this is our last game. Make sure you get enrolled. Make sure you push play because this is the last game. Game number 12. Lucky game number 12 uh, coming up here this time. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of money on the line. Look at that major jackpot. Look at that mega. Look at that minor. It is huge. All in doable amount of balls. And so you want to get in there. We got a minute 45 left to do that. There was a game of the 12s last week in the NFC Championship game because Aaron Rodgers and oh, uh, yeah. Brady both wear 12. So, uh, But anyways, that uh, – that is a good, good number when you're on a Super Bowl week and you wear number 12 or you're playing game 12 because Tom Brady has a higher chance of being in a Super Bowl during his career than Steph Curry has of making a three-point shot. That is incredible considering yes. Steph Curry is the greatest three-point shooter of all time. <laughs> right, and Tom Brady's still more likely when the season starts that he makes the Super Bowl. That is that is crazy. That's what I call a good bet. Um, <laughs> right? Right? Uh, um, so. Well, let's get going on that oh, weird trivia. Yeah. Um, you may ask yourself. I, I do. I've I, I wonder w uh, where the largest crow in the world is. I've been asking myself that for years. I mean, I ask it. It's, it's a daily question. <laughs> yes. Well, ask no more. <laughs> in It is in Belgrade. Minnesota? Yeah. Wow, it's in Minnesota. It's in Minnesota. We got to go to Minnesota now. Exactly. We're going to go um, take a picture with this crow. It this is crowd. an 18-foot and 3,000 pounds. Yes. And uh, resides at the rest stop bathroom on the e uh, e eastern shore of Crow Lake. The, the incredible thing to me was Amelia and Curtis were actually asking, is that a real bird? Was that yeah. a real bird? Well, I thought it was That gonna, would be the largest bird. I, that would be the that largest. Would, that crawl. would be a not only the that would be a it would be Mothra level exactly. flying creature. Oh, I I'm <laughs> going nowhere near Minnesota if that was a real bird. No, that's a statue, folks. That's a statue. So. I I was very concerned when I first read it because I was expecting when I'm just reading this because I haven't I haven't read the. This uh, this a uh, weird trivia because I yes. like to surprise myself. Right, right. And uh, and so then I get in. And I'm like 18 feet. I'm like, what? Yeah. What is this crow made of? <laughs> <laughs> wood, I, wood or or concrete or something. But yeah. So anyways, if That's you want to awesome. go check out uh, the largest crow in the world, uh, stop over to in Belgrade. You stop over to the rest stop on the eastern shore of Crow lake and enjoy seeing that hey we got brad checking in on player connect let me load you up with some luck oh for brad yeah right here in game number 12 there we go there you go brad <laughs> oh they said missed you guys we hmm. missed you we guys missed, too we so, you guys so yeah much. we missed brad brad was good fun yeah, yeah no that was super fun that was uh, that was one of the characters uh, one of the, not characters one of the uh, uh people that we really got to connect with um through the player connect that's that right. and through that little uh, uh state where we weren't able to go to the bars yep. and we got to uh get to talk with a bunch of the players more and uh yeah so yeah, super good to, super good to see you again brat here we are. We're closing in on this mega. We'll see if we can get that one. Real quick, I want to jump into a little bit of the sports uh, news that we got because of our partnership with the Wild. We want to keep you up to date on what's going on with the Wild. They are 6-4 and four so far this year and third in the West. They got an overtime win this weekend um, against the Avalanche. Um, you know, in years, recent years, it hasn't been too uh, kind. Overtime hasn't been too kind to uh, the wild, but this year they're actually three and zero in Oof. overtime. So get her done. Gene. That's right. That's right. Well, we had a great game out of Jordan Greenway. Been great all season so far, um, and uh, just a lot of great efforts out there getting that win. So congratulations to the wild on that. 
The Twins on Sunday morning. Oh, there we go. Towley over at Cabonis Pizza, CR Billiards, and Coon Rapids getting that must go of $108.60. Uh, congratulations, Towley. I think, does that three wins for Towley, I think, on the night? Yeah, three that, or four that wins. Was a, that was a lot of wins by Towley. Absolutely yeah. killing it tonight. And I'm sure ready to play some more bingo tomorrow. That's right. Well, we didn't get through all the sports stuff, but we'll be back tomorrow. We'll talk more sports stuff. We'll talk all oh, yeah. things uh, pilot. And it is bingo palooza tomorrow. Make sure you come out for uh, everything we're doing. We got Megasota game night. We're going to play Pride of Minnesota, Easy Money, Fishing Dirty, Jackpot Hunter, Open Season. And we got a great Jackpot Jungle coverall coming up tomorrow as well so uh, make sure you come out for everything oh yeah and remember when you play pilot games your community wins have a good one guys bye guys